Okay, and now I'm going to brew my coffee using the Chemex way. So all you're going to need is a Chemex, um, you're going to need a scale, um, also a gooseneck. If you don't have a gooseneck uh, jug, you can use a jug or if you really know, you can just use it straight from the kettle. Um, some coffee, and um, you can use a sink to empty things out, but um, I'm going to use a bowl this time so I don't have to run back and forth for you guys there. And yeah. So first you're going to have boiled water. I've let it rest for a bit so it's not at the boiling temp but you should ideally have it at the boiling temp. So what we're going to do, I'm going to tear some coffee. So I'm going to use about 30 grams of coffee. So I'm using Kenya Fine Estate coffee again. Um, it's a single origin coffee. Um, it is a fair trade coffee so um, I love this coffee is quite rich in flavor. It reminds me of um, wine. It's a little bit like Shiraz, but not so. It doesn't have that spice that hits me that I that, that they state. It has that wine where it's quite um, that on your palate. It's just um, it sits on your tongue. Kind of it's quite round for me. Um, I like I love coffees that are um, quite bold. Um, that set my palate not clean. Um, considering we're using Chemex, um, paper filter is quite clean as a um, coffee. It's quite clean. So I actually like something strong. Okay, so before we start doing, you're going to also need paper filter. So I've got the nice, the normal white square paper. So it looks like this. So you will actually have to open it up. So like this and I'm just gonna put on the coffee so make sure the point is spelled on the spout I think it's the only way you can put it on anyway so ideally you want to um, you know wet the paper first so it actually wet so it gets that papery taste out you can also and uh, it also um, you no know, heats up the Chemex so you really want to heat up the Chemex before so you can it's like at its best optimized brewing capacity. So I just go around, around, around. If you find it hard going around like it, just turn it as you said, like as you saw me turning it. I find it so much easier because it's like one going clockwise, one going oh they're both going anti-clockwise. But if you go clockwise, you can at least you're getting every single part around the edges and yeah. So as you see, I can feel it's warming up. So I just swirl it around, makes it easier because you're not going to fill up this with all the water. So just swirl it around and I feel like it's warm enough. My hands are so cold today. And today's actually my birthday so I have dolled up again. It's just, you know, a great day to actually make coffee today because, you know, I miss coffee so much. I love coffee. I don't drink it every day but, you know, you know when you make it nice fresh coffee it's amazing so I'm gonna tear this oh also it's good to actually have you grind coffee like you know as you go it's so much better but if you can if you don't own a grinder it's nothing wrong we you know just the coffee grinds the coffee for you so you can have it ground because not everyone can afford um, a grinder um, at this time but it's good to be a good investment to have a grinder there so it, it will be actually quite coarse your grind. So I'll put the coffee in now. So yeah, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour some of this. I'm gonna tear this while I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. And also you will need a timer. So I'm just gonna get this timer ready for 30 seconds because you're gonna need 30 seconds uh, no, 45 seconds, my mistake, to allow it to brew. So ideally, I'm going to want only about 60 to 80 grams of water going in. 
so that um, first I'm just gonna saturate the coffee so it allows it to bloom so that it allows it to go in and out of the coffee so so you're not dumping a whole bunch of water in there first so while you do this actually yeah where you do this just gently around so I managed to there we go only you managed to use 70 grams of water so, and I'm just gonna let it drip and brew so while this brooms you can see this nice golden like you know crust not crust crust just bubble up you know that means it's aerating from the coffee and it's also dripping right through but it looks amazing when you actually did it when i showed you on the um plunger coffee it looks exactly like that it's amazing it looks nice you can smell everything so and mine right now looks like a donut because the whole it just went right through <laughs> and so now we're gonna start doing it again round and round and round so my circular anti-circular motion is actually a lot better than I've done every other times. I would actually have to turn this around because I'm I don't want to hit the paper. I just want to get the coffee. And today I've actually managed to go get everything within a certain range. And just go around and around. Keep in mind watching the grams of water there. If you want, just do it slowly, so you know you've got every part. I can smell the coffee. I love the smell of coffee. So every day when I come back home from work, my partner says I actually smell like coffee. I smell like Jasper coffee. Um, it's not a bad smell. It's just, I smell like coffee. My car I was, is actually, um, smells like coffee all the time because I always take coffee home. There we go, 500 grams and start the clock. So as you can see, it's already dripping. That's a good sign that it's dripping. Um, I feel like my coffee is not ground as um, coarse as it should be because I'm usually usually something that's a bit, a um, little bit finer, but it should be coarser, but it's okay. Um, yeah. So while we're waiting for this to, um, you know, drip and brew, I just let you know there are natural filters out there that you can use. Um, also, you, if you people out there who don't actually have um, a scale, they don't. Uh, you don't need to have the scale. Um, you don't need to. Um, you don't, It's not. It's not a need that you have to have it. You can just actually brew it without the scale, but it's ideal. All your basic like you know thing that you need to actually do you just warm up put your paper filter in regardless what uh, natural paper or white paper warm it up first tap the water out put your coffee in um me using 30 grams is very simple like you know it's just based on what i use or what i've heard from other people or what i've found is the best result of it um there's no wrong or right way and you feel a little bit of water just not too much just enough that it covers it up so it's not a paste just a bit of liquidy so it blooms the coffee it drips through and you can just time the 30 seconds and then you can just fill up the water to the top basically almost to the top and just let it drip it actually that's how i learnt first as time went on i actually i have a scale because it's from baking um i have a gooseneck because you know i work at my store at jasper coffee and yeah you know all you need is ground coffee and Chemex. It's very easy to brew this coffee at home. Um, for me, things like this, like if you don't have the time of day, as I said, do the easy way. You can walk away. Once you put the wall, walk away and then come back. Um, yeah, so my, probably the best way that I like making coffee is actually through, um, through stovetop. I feel like it's the easiest to, it's probably one of the probably the closest of making um, closest to a coffee machine. Um, it's you, it is hot one. It is actually quite hot when you make your coffee um, with the Chemex because you're actually letting it sit out in the open like this. I feel like each second you're losing the heat of the coffee. I mean, you can have a coffee warmer at the bottom, but I feel like you're still. You, when you drink coffee, it's, 
it's brewing the stove top is brewing hot from the heat that's coming under it's and you get to drink it straight away is this one my kettle has been boiled it takes about five minutes for this whole process and it just drips right through i mean it's still great coffee but filter coffee i feel or batch brew it's the coffee it takes a bit a few minutes you got to understand that it's not going to be like hot as a long black it's not going to be as strong as a long black because um, you know the coffee ratio to water ratio is very different um coffee with this is like the what the coffee ratio the volume ratio like as i did i did 30 grams of coffee to 500 ml that's a big there's a different significant as to where you have your water ratio from your coffee machine is like a one to two like almost yeah one to two ratio so yeah so it's i don't mind this this is a good coffee for me to drink in the afternoon i can enjoy you know just reading like reading a book um i can actually just go watch um netflix it's it's easy for me to just drink this coffee and i can go to sleep so um yeah i would definitely recommend that there's people who love that whole chemistry set thing because you know it's got a b cup similar not really it's got a glass you get to make your own coffee it's, it's the enjoyment of making this coffee that makes me like you know love making coffee so yeah so it's about i'm about five seconds off so i still have a little bit in there so some most coffee connoisseurs out there they say once it hits that second you have to take it away so you can decide to take it away i have um it's only a little bit maybe 0.5 centimeters from the top where it's almost hidden in the bottom so for me i kind of don't i don't like wasting <laughs> coffee like if i walked away i would i would actually yeah i would actually take it all take it all, um i would just let it drip until it's done um but i feel like it's enough for me so because it's already almost at the top so so i'm just going to put it into the here so And yeah, so that is the way I make Chemex. So you just, the good thing about Chemex, I love that it has this pouring spout. So you pouring, it's very nice and graceful. And let's try that coffee. Mm. So Chemex coffee is very clean. Um, that's the one thing that I don't like about Chemex, the paper filter, it's very clean. Um, I have to admit, I like very round coffees. I like something that stays on my palate. Um, a lot of people don't, so there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, 